Hey dudes, welcome to Splat from the Past, the only 80s themed horror and sci-fi show where things can get totally radical. Now today, I will be interviewing a good friend of mine I've known for about seven years. I met her in the Bay Area when she was on her way out, just, just before she was on her way out leaving. Her name is Sharon Brandy, and uh, I'm going to interview her today, and we're going to... Um, Reminisce a little bit, catch up, you know, um, see what's going on in our lives, and have some laughs. And uh, it's going to be pretty good. I mean, we're such good friends. I've been to her wedding, and she visited me when I was in the hospital. That's how good of friends we are. And we've only known each other seven years. That's just how you know someone is your friend when um, that clicks, you know. When everything is just right and it clicks. And it's going to be pretty cool. So, yeah, here is my interview with Sharon Brandy. Hey, girl. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm still trying to wake up, I'll tell you. Me too. I'm already. I drank a single liter of uh, Diet Pepsi last night, and my body's in contradictory mode. It's like tired, but it's like tired, but not really, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> like, you crash from the caffeine, but <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So, how you doing? Good. So you're working on the house. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's yeah, awesome. That's yeah, I bet it is. Oh my god, you would I can't believe we know each other seven years now. I know. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, God, you were on your way out when I met you out of the Bay Area. Right? Seriously. Yeah, it was like three weeks. <laughs> yeah, it was around that time. And oh my god, I was I was going through a lot. I I had started drinking the year before and it didn't get really bad until a year later, I'll tell you. And then once I was on the street. That's when it got really bad, and that's what led to my accident. <laughs> yeah. I'm still, like, I'm so wary of cars. Um, I don't know. See, like, whether they're stopped or not. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been... People, like, just stop. I'm like... <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not going back to that ever. No. I can't, because... That's what you're doing. Like, yeah, I, I can't because if I do, my liver will bleed. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> yeah, I can't go back to that. But yeah, it was a really, just really insane time, you know. And everybody needs a different level of a sign. Yeah. I mean, you were one of six people who visited me in the hospital. Wow. Yeah, that's not a good time. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, one of six people, and I think of those. I think of those people. I ended up having a falling out with two of those people, and I, th I think about it, and I think to myself. You know, if they, you know, if they were, if they were, if they were my friends, they were my friends. But like, you know, but you know, the situation is their fault as much as it's my fault. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. I mean, I 
is a lot of um, weight for people to take, especially when they're collectively still doing exactly what, you know what I mean, like going out partying and drinking all the time, like, yeah. it's really hard to like, I don't know, put, put the two together, like, you have to do some separate on your brain, but just like, what yeah, but <laughs> I'm just glad those 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 days are over. I'm just trying to to fucking get my ass to L.A. like I've been trying to for the past 18 years, and it looks like you know it might happen this year finally. Yeah, you want to talk to her boss? She did talk to her boss, and, and he said that uh, he he can't um, transfer her down there, and she doesn't recommend. That, that that just she would work down there anyways because she, it's because of well it's 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 ageism you know her age and stuff uh, yeah and they're all young down there um, yeah they're all young down there and she's like she's like he's like you'll be treated like shit down there more than than you are in the in the Bay Area and my mom is thinking yeah no I'll I'll get I'll get him down there somehow this year and we'll see what happens you know i mean she can't retire now because fucking trump cut back fucking you know um fucking you know pension plans you know before the government got shut down yeah i didn't know that because she would have gotten um about three thousand dollars a month in social security if she had retired um, early last year, but then it got cut back to like eighteen hundred. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder. I'm like, I'm like, you know, since I've been here, I mean, it's such a the demographics are you know night and day compared to you know, today. Um, there's so many points that you know that Yeah. Fucking, they used the, the the mighty dollar to ask rape you. For president, are you saying she's, she's? Are you saying she's running for president? I want the next candidate to be a horse, just so the horse's acceptance uh, or um, or, or um, <laughs> no, the horse's campaign speech will be. He just simply turns around and lifts up his tail. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the. That would be like the ultimate candidate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, 
Metaphorically, yes, but I want it literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. A nice thoroughbred. <laughs> oh god, I miss Bay Meadows. Oh God! When I was when I was a bouncer at Swinging Door, two thousand eight, the last six weeks that Bay Meadows was open. Oh my God, the bar was insane. It was all packed with guys I went to high school with, and elementary school, and middle school, and just it was just insane. And it was it's my fault because I promoted it, you know, while I was there and shit, and they all showed up afterwards. <laughs> Not per se. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's, I mean, if I got home, I'd put the same thing. You know, it's like, recently, like, one of my bartender friends just opened up, like, his own restaurant at home, which is, you know, not easy to do on Long Island. Yeah. Um, but he's, like, been feeding forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And, like, the menu looks pretty good. It's so sick. Like, yeah, well, it was the reason why I think it was my fault is because um, the, the the bar was still getting establishment, start still getting establishment after um, new ownership. And so, you know, it took a while. But then by the time I got hired, you know, I got everybody I knew because I'm born and raised in San Mateo. I got everybody in to uh, hang out and stuff and spend money. Yeah, San Mateo is a lot. I mean, it's so much like that. And, like, it's just, I don't know. They're very, um, like, oh, yeah, like, they went to school with Brady. Yeah. Well, That's how I know how old Brady is. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's six years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, um, yeah, that was during the last wave of um, of everybody in San Mateo knowing each other before everybody left and all these dot commers came in. Right. Yeah, like right at the end, it's. What do you mean right now, though? Like, I, I just I don't know. Like I I would still be there if it wasn't being twenty two hundred for one bedroom in Hayward. Hayward, where people went to have like a five hundred dollar rent. <laughs> and they have a five hundred dollar crack habit. <laughs> True. Uh, I know we were gonna. I know we were, we were like you know thinking about you know going back there now, but now that my brother. Um, gave up his apartment after losing his job the other day. He's going to move in over here, which I'm not looking forward to at all. You know, yeah. you know, we're just we're just going to stay here because the rent's cheap, and we're going to figure out what the hell we're going to do about about going to LA and stuff. So, but at least we're visiting in April. I'm excited about that. Oh, cool! Let me let you know. I'm like, you need to you know, heads up because yeah but I think it's uh, I, I'm just looking forward to just having some fun over there and stuff because I, I didn't get to go to LA at all last year because last year was such a fucking dark year for me and shit so my mom yeah. got so my mom got back with her yeah. <laughs> my mom got back with her ex for a little while and Fucking, we hit a financial wall for a little bit, and now everything's back to normal. But it just it looked like shit was happening. And then my fucking aunt died. She collapsed in public, and she was healthy. Uh, you never know. Like, <laughs> I often wonder if I'm just like going to, you know, service. But I'm really super, super, super close to getting a job. 
was a very African manager, finally, like, you know, what I do, what I went to school for. Nice. I haven't talked with my forever. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it really will, right? Yeah. I just want to get the hell out of this apartment. I want to get some, some I want to take some acting classes and some improv classes that we, we have there's one there's two theater companies out here in Reading. They are fucking assholes. And it's the same. Like, it's not like you're gonna get the top of the line people at the university that heard it even come in. <laughs> well what I mean by assholes is that, you know, they were they were hella nice at the class and then the, when we got on social media that was a whole nother story. Oh well yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So I take the so I take the class and everything, and then you know they're assholes on social media, and that's and then that's it. And the other the other theater company, I was gonna volunteer for them for a production, and the guy on the phone who was like taking down my uh, my schedule, he didn't like it. He got really fucking commungeon on me after after I said, you know. I'm available this day, that day. I can't do this. I can't do that. He he never called me back again. So I was just like, all right, fuck it, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I could, I, like I can't do super physical stuff because of my leg. Right. And that and that was a problem to him. He was a fucking old man, and shit. So. I get that. <laughs> that Midwest South thing. They want it their way or forget it. Yeah. Fucking just, ugh, God. I didn't know how bad it was going to be when I moved out here. Neither did my mom. And as soon as we move out here, oh, my God, we see all these fucking tweakers with fucking tattoos on every street corner here. And it's just, oh, my God, it's scary. Isn't it just weird being in these mess capitals? Like, I... I don't know. I'm like, you know, it's like obviously everybody does fun in every town, but like, it's just so different with these people like that are so, it's just such a large population. Like, it's just like, it's everywhere. <laughs> you have to worry about everybody. <laughs> yeah. I, I can handle the homeless people in the Bay Area because they're everywhere and. A lot of them are just all talking shit, but the ones over here are pretty fucking scary. Right? Like, they're actual, like, spooky. Like, not just like, oh, I'm a nice high school kid who got addicted to drugs for a minute because I was going to a bad time. Like, they're like, yeah, like, I'm going to be here for a while. Like, I'm not going to be here for a while. Yeah, it is just, it's just weird. And... Yeah, just the people here in this apartment complex, they they just don't want to make friends. They they know they're not going to be here that long, because um, a lot of them are going to this um, this this Bible school that's really a fucking cult. If you go on YouTube, you'll find out what a fucking cult it is. And and oh my god, I tell them about my accident, right? And they look at me like I'm a crazy person, like they don't really believe in God. They're just pretending they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not practice what you preach. It's weird. Oh, yeah. They, they're fucking weird over here. And, like, oh, my God, they act all goody goody and stuff, right? Because they all hang out at the, uh, the swimming pool and the hot tub, right? And I know that as soon as they leave and shit, they're, gonna, they're all going to be fucking each other. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I just I just don't get it. Just there's no learning there's there's no learning curve with people in this in this day and age. No, there's really not. They're all kind of fucking. I I just read this article that just fucking had me pissed. Millennials are watching Seinfeld and they think it's offensive. Yeah. I mean, yes, the show is dark, but come on, it's it, fucking hilarious. It's, yeah, it's not like super dark, like your average I mean, it was pretty dark when Larry David was was running the show, but then after he left, the show got really silly. Yeah. Well, it, it, still, it was no, it was never it was never like any other sitcom on TV. No, but each character has their own backstory, has their own has their own story on the show, and there's just all this crazy shit happening that ties it all together in the end. Like, yeah. like no other show did that. Yeah. I mean, he's that guy's making so much money in syndication, like a, close to a billion dollars a year. Yeah. Fucking, I'm jealous, fucking bastard. That heyday of, you know, the football fight for a million dollars an episode. Yeah, I mean, I mean, how, I mean, who's doing that now? <laughs> Or big actors are even going on to TV. Yeah, yeah. That was the show. Oh, the world. <laughs> like, I have, I was watching um, Oz. Yeah. Um, she never saw it. And that's like one of those things that I'm like, you know, I've referenced it or I see people all the time, you know, like on TV that, like, I'm like, ah, you know, like, I just uh, when I get my foot in the door and just I want to I want to do so many different things and bring lots of like classic shit back for audiences to like and then maybe the world will be a better place in terms of television and entertainment. That's funny. The world is one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
mm-hmm. is like watching commercials. <laughs> you know, I was like, watching commercials is how you get paid. Um, so they sit on like an exercise bike all day and, and then work out and eat healthy and watch these horrible commercials. And so like, and, and the best thing that you can possibly be is somebody that is in one of these commercials. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. It, it, I mean, it's the best holiday. Like, once you get like a million dollars, then you can buy your ticket to the show to get to be one of those people instead. Um, where you can see outdoors and all those other stuff, the, the regular person class. But, but what the trade off is so intense that like, it's so amplified as to how much you're selling your soul uh, compared to now. But it's like, yeah, that's. Pretty much it. Like, <laughs> like advertisers in your games and in your. Where's that available at? Yeah. What? That show, Black Mirror. Oh, it's a Netflix. It was a British show, and then Netflix bought it, and um, so they're we're waiting for the next season. It's been just over a year. So I'm not sure. Oh. Coming back, but. America steals everything from the British. Anything good. <laughs> like The Office, Three's Company, All in the Family. Exactly. They were all British shows, and very few people know that. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make you throw up on my Those were classics. And... God, just political correctness is just fucked up. Yeah, so this is that. Apparently, they are, I mean, like, they just released this thing called Endersnack, which is a choose your own ending. You know, like, there's five hours of video, depending on what avenue you take. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, they are actually going to keep going. That was like a month ago. Where are you? Where? Um, the, the Black Mirror. Oh, Black Mirror. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so have you, t- have you talked to anybody lately? No, I definitely have a Mickey phone call. I have a... Okay, so I really the whole cancer thing, so um huh. yeah. She was making me she's like, Here, I did it, here, do it for that. She's going to the office. Do you mean to <laughs> 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 Yeah, other than that, I like a I don't know if anyone. I mean I know Carol turns out it obviously was taking a health all the time. Um, so they were often like, I mean, Dave is one of the Dave's best friends, like, that was the best best woman man thing. Yeah. But, I I mean, nobody's on Facebook anymore. It's like boring. Yeah. It's really just like family and family friends like people. Yeah. Look at the baby again. Oh, look at this dog. It's, not. it's all political now. Yeah. I'm so sick of it. Oh, God, I just can't. I just can't fucking bear it no more. I, I, I've befriended everybody who... <laughs> um, or at least unfollowed them so they don't see their crap. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fucking... Just so many people, it's like... It's like, really? I mean, you really that fucking hung up over this fucking president? I mean, how has he affected you, you know? <laughs> I'm more like, yeah, I've had to unfollow the people that are white supremacists. <laughs> 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 I don't know, that kid that, um, there's a riot in the South when they, you know, took down the statue and all that thing, like, forever ago. Yeah. That, um, that kid. 
kid that was like famous and gave interviews. Completely went to my head. <laughs> it was the entire faction of them. It was like the theaters split into two in high school. And one group went one way, the other group went the other <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, did you hear about the, um, why is it like these people, like, right? They're either senators or governors, but one, uh, it's on a black piece of picture from 2005. Uh, he was like, but like, really? 2005? Yeah. We can help you do that. The other one is 1984, who was like 18. It's like, Okay, it's still that like, and I mean, the argument is it's not like 55. Yeah, but it, it, it was still very segregated in the 80s. Um, but it's realistic. You know, like, I yeah. remember my cousin brought home black men for the first time in the 90s. Like, it was a cool group. Like, her dad wasn't talking to her. He's not my uncle. He's just my uncle by there. <laughs> but, like, he wasn't talking to her. Like, he was like, I like almost banished for a little while. And then he actually told the stereotypical, I'm cheating on you thing, and everything got better. And then by the time she actually like dated another black guy, it was like, okay. But there was like that five, six years where like all of a sudden everything changed to be like normal. Um, instead of like crazy. I think it was probably our generation. So like, we don't give a fuck about skin color. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason we wanted is to fit in with a group of skin ads in high school, and then you just get lost in it with all your mess. Yeah, 2005, I was 22, and I got my first job since high school at that time. That was like me, you know, getting over my grandmother's death finally and just starting to live life that year, 2005. And I just can't believe... Oh my God, I just can't believe like what I was going through at the time and like how I really transformed myself. But then that I was really put to the test the next year when I found out I had to lose all that weight and I started stand up comedy that year. Yeah. Yeah. How did that work coinciding? Well, let's see. I turned 23 and then um, the next week I had my uh, physical. And found out I, I had to lose 100 pounds or I was going to die because my cholesterol was attacking my heart. Because I ate nothing healthy for like four years after my grandma died. And I eat <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm on a diet now. I lost 10 pounds. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I, so I quit eating dessert. So, um, so then the very next week, I started doing stand-up. And then... It became really good therapy for me because I, I, I started, you know, f- forgetting about food and thinking more about writing jokes, and that became that became my way of, of doing things. And I lost 130 pounds. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, guy. Yeah. It's funny. My my best friend at the time who I'd known since elementary school, you know, he and I are not friends anymore as of last summer because he's just fucking gone off the rails mentally. I don't know what the fuck is going on with him, but I look at the, I look back and, you know, I, I thank him for taking me to that open mic because if I didn't, I don't know what I'd be fucking doing right now. I'd probably be dead right now. Um, you cheated death Yeah. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, it was a very good thing. As long as you know, you stay good. Like, yeah. I want to say that only the good are young, but you know, the opposite is true. <laughs> 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 really is. You don't see many 90 year old cases. So you don't see too many 90 year old giants. <laughs> which is sad. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just hope. I hope I make it. I hope I make it to my sixties or at least seventy, 
like I'm, like I'm like I'm supposed to. I have Simpson Galabi syndrome, so like it goes to like you know 65 and 70, and you know I hope I make it that far, and I hope I accomplish everything. The seventies? Yeah, to the mid seventies. So then you're not dealing with all those years of needing somebody to wipe your butt, but like you've actually lived a whole life. Yeah. I saw the seventies, yeah, the seventy five mark. <laughs> My great grandmother lived to hundred and five and I met her Fine. when Yeah. I met her. When I when she was 102 and I was 10 and a half, and my my grandma was was wiping her ass, and that was my introduction to Depends diapers, and I was like, what the fuck? That's what happens when you're old. I couldn't believe it. Dude, I, I'm going to menopause. Okay, I pee on myself all the time. I'm like very close to this being putting up and wearing full on diapers. Yeah, but you don't have a remote control with a pause button. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be thirty-six. I'm gonna be thirty-six this year. And oh my god. I just hope I, I just hope I'm successful by the time I'm forty. Because I don't want to be I don't want to be selling myself anymore. I don't want to be selling myself anymore. hope nothing but the best you know for all of us that's all I hope from wasp to Mexican. (laughs) (laughs) Either way, it's a nice fight.
Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we all knew for the last 15 years that the um, Hispanic culture was going to dominate America. Like, the Chinese had already made their mark at that point, and then we're like, oh, now we're seeing an increase in Spanish speaking people. Oh. It's like rich it's like rich people visiting Jerusalem for the first time. Hi, is there a cover charge? Yeah. Oh fuck 'em. <laughs> <laughs> I love those ones. I'm like, it's like, you know, the 13 year old with the machine guns on every corner. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that's so great. <laughs> What got canceled? What got canceled? Wait, what got canceled? Oh. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a desire to go there, you know, unless it's unless I I perform there. But I don't think I would ever perform there. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm like I, I do have a friend in the EU. Let's go over there. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got some pretty funny jokes to tell you. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> You know why you know you know why uh, guys like to bury virgins? No. Because they can't stand criticism. No. God, okay, so Cinderella is about to go to the ball and she's on her period and uh, the fairy godmother gives her these magic tampons and says you can go to the ball but you have to be home by midnight or else they'll turn into a pumpkin. She's like, okay, fairy godmother, I will. So 12.30 rolls around, Cinderella has not showed up, fairy godmother is pacing around the house pissed off and then at 4 a.m. Cinderella shows up stumbling drunk and Fairy Godmother's like, where were you? You were supposed to be home at midnight. Cinderella's like, I'm so sorry, Mother. I'm so sorry, Fairy Godmother. I met this great guy, and we danced all night. His name was Peter Peter. tell all your girlfriends when you're like hanging out.
Oh, when you've um, when you've moved. Oh, it's fucking tough to make friends. Yeah, but it's not about. I mean, like, it's, you know, people are nice enough, but like, they're not my people. It is not my home. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah, I live here, and I'm trying to like grasp that. You know, like, this is going to be a, a long stint here, but like, I I I have had to stop correcting people's English because nobody can grasp grammar and I just have to accept that. (laughs) 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 Yeah. (laughs) Correcting grammar. That's funny. (laughs) Oh my god. I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to have Tiffany back on the podcast soon when she gets back from her trip. Oh, good. That's crazy. Oh, God, she makes me laugh. She's so damn dark and funny. Yeah, but you see that picture on, on Facebook, I said? Um, I heard Keith and they were doing some gala. I'm like, she's stunning. I'm like, how do you have the pictures? It's so much the same as the it's not better than when I met you and you were like 21. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Lose my time. Yeah. I think oh. a lot of it has to do with that whole positive outlook. You know, like she's very happy, positive person. So it's dark as she can be. So I think in general, you know. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of fun. I, I just fucking I long to have like, you know, a group of true friends that are just as dark and crazy as I am. <laughs> so, is everything okay there? Yeah. Oh, it's right. so apparently they're listening to comedy. It's more... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've seen all the... You've yeah. seen, you seen all the wage ideas lost? Yeah, on, fa- on Facebook, he's lost hella weight, and I asked him what, what happened, and he said he's, he's got diabetes. I want to say good. <laughs> so, you know, you don't lose it up on anybody, but somebody who's going to actually respect it and, like, take care of it, like, you will, you know, like, I, good. Yeah. And that gives it to too. You know what I mean? Like, and it just depends on who you are. Like I said, to what degree. <laughs> Say, you, yeah. Oh my God. All the all the all the drinking I'd see him do. I'll tell you. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, but I'm glad he's I'm glad he's getting healthy though. Ah, oh, Yeah, I can't. I can't believe February's here already. I, I just can't wait till April for my trip. It's gonna be so fucking awesome, and hopefully the sun will be out. Hopefully, pouring right now. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. We had we had some sun here the other day uh, for a couple of days. It was pretty cool because. The rainstorm a couple weeks ago drove me crazy. <laughs> I couldn't go outside, you know? We have our week now. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. It's funny because it's like, you know, all this polar vortex crap all 
all the country was like, yeah, let's go get a drink, let's see you guys, and it's funny. Well, Sharon, I'm glad uh, we finally got to do this. Me too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was so long. Mm-hmm. I'm on top of a ride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to appreciate the little things. Like, now I'm wearing the aesthetics in my condo instead of, like, functional. Yeah, we have piling everywhere on the floor. <laughs> it's a cabinet that's ready to be painted. One day I'll be like a normal thing. Mm-hmm. And then hopefully that's when you show up in April. When do you think the, the house will be ready? I mean, completely like everything that I'd want to do to it. So completely like get rid of all the mess head craziness that was in here. Um, and the whole thing by the end of the year. And Jay is pretty committed at this point to helping Travis as well. It's so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, can't do anything over the winter. And then in the fall, everything seems so quickly with holidays. Um, but I'm hoping that whatever little things are left, they'll, they'll do next fall. Um, right now, this is the last weekend that we until March is going to have pause while we alternate going places on weekend. hmm Yeah, I'm sure the house is going to turn out great. It'll turn out, like, perfectly. Some of that reason they're not, they will sell it. It's still my dad's truck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, yeah. what do you think? I mean, I'm glad that it's just livable now, and it's, I mean, I've had a long um, although with the rain, we have roll issues, so the association has to like send somebody to fix the roof and cut out like an entire corner of our bedroom and rebuild it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's gonna turn. Well, it's gonna turn out great. I think it. I think it will. And. and this, uh, Every, everything you do turns out great, Sharon. Okay. Funny. You, you are getting there. You are on the verge. You wanted to see change for a while. And now at least you're kind of like over the, over the letting thing. You know what I mean? Like you're not like upset anymore. Yeah, well, me, me and some friends, we're getting together in May in in the Bay Area. And we're going to film a uh, horror show uh, pilot for me, and we're going to put it on the internet. And if it gets if, if it gets a lot of views, over a couple thousand views or so, or so we're going to make more of them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be it's going to be very irre- irreverent very inappropriate. It's not going to be like the same horror show you've been seeing since the 50s. It's going to be way different. It's like, it's going to be something nobody's seen before. Awesome. I can't. Oh, God. It's going to be so fucking great. <laughs> I, just all the ideas I have, I mean, it's going to be really, really great. And I hope I, I hope people in the horror community will like it. I'm sure they will, but yeah, definitely let me know. Send me a link. I sure will, hon. We 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 gonna do we gonna do uh, for the rest of the day. Um, I'm not sure. It's boring, so I really don't want to go in there. But <laughs> um, and like I gotta go weigh in on what's happening. <laughs> my home. Mm-hmm. Well, 
you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll upload this and I'll tag you in it. I introduced you uh, under your maiden name, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? What is my maiden name? Brandy. Oh, yay! I'm going to give myself a name to Lana. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I am a Brandy girl. I'm a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, so I will let you know all that. And I hope you have a, a, a great day, hun. Talk to you for a while. Yes, this has been great. Well, hun, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Definitely. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, there you have it. Sharon Brandy. Ain't she a sweetheart? Oh, Sharon, you're one of my greatest friends, and I love you so much, hun, and I'm glad we finally got to do this. See, it wasn't so bad. You were great. We had some laughs. Um, if you like this video, everyone, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Add me as a friend on Facebook. Join my Tommy Kovac Comedian page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. Well, that's all the time we have this week on Splat from the Past. Until next time, this is Tommy Throwback Kovac saying, There's no shame in living in the past. Because the present sucks. Layer dudes!